The United States has said that it has no plans at present to shoot down the remains of a Chinese rocket, which could plunge to Earth sometime this weekend. A section of a Long March 5B rocket like this one, which was used to deliver part of a Chinese space station into orbit last week, is tumbling out of control above the planet. There are fears it could bring with it a shower of scorching metal debris when it falls back to Earth. And this map gives you an idea of where the debris might fall. In theory, everywhere from Newfoundland and Canada to New Zealand could be affected, although the law of averages suggests the debris is most likely to come down somewhere in the sea near the equator. China says the risk of damage is extremely low. Well, CBS correspondent Laura Podesta joins me now from New York. And Laura, how worried should we be that a lump of rocket could fall on our heads in the next four days? You know, I think that there is reason to be concerned, but what we're hearing from experts and from officials here in the U.S. is that it is most likely to fall potentially in water. 70% of the globe's surface is covered by ocean, so the likelihood of it falling on a very densely populated area is small. It's more likely that it would fall in into the water. There have been some projections that it will land over northeastern Africa tomorrow, perhaps Sudan. Um, Sudan is 50% desert. It's within the Sahara and it's um, sparsely populated. There are about 42 million people who live in Sudan. But again, there are so many factors that go into where this rocket, rocket and where the remnants of the rocket could land. Um, everything from solar flares from the sun, um, making it so that it, it, it would go off kilter and, and move several miles from where they're projecting it. So, and as, as you mentioned, it is a large area that is covered where this rocket and the pieces of it could come down, Gita. And, and the US government, is, is it concerned about this? Is the whole space frontier becoming um, another area of difference between the US and China? And there are rules, are there, about how these things are governed normally in terms of space debris? Well, as far as governing outer space. There is an agreement, a United Nations Space Liability Convention came up with some rules uh, where if there is a problem or a disaster in space, one country could pay reparations to another. So it's possible that China would have to pay for any damage that could be a result of this rocket and, and the debris coming down. Um, as far as creating new tensions between the U.S. and China, I think it's more likely that this would create more discussion. Uh, when speaking before the press yesterday, um, the White House press secretary really didn't lay blame to China. So perhaps using vocabulary that wasn't pointed and, and wasn't uh, drama dramatic might be they might really be trying to temper this uh, in order to not spark new tension with that country. And, and Laura, uh, the rocket could theory, in theory at least, fall in New York. Are you personally worried? You know, I'm not worried. I'm, I have really have faith in the U.S. government that if it were to come close to New York City, the uh, most densely populated city in the United States, that they would have the capability to shoot it down or at least uh, move it off course um, th through some heat seeking missile or whatever they have uh, in order to bring down something like this. So, no, I I'm not I'm not concerned. Laura Podesta, thanks very much. I'm watching the West Wing still at the moment. I'm, I'm just wondering whether any of those episodes dealt with this particular concern. Um, I'll have to check. Thanks very much indeed. Great to speak to you. Thank you. Thank you. An Italian scientist captured this image of the chunk of Chinese rocket in the sky over Italy. It's expected to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere this weekend. The problem is scientists don't know really exactly when, or more importantly, exactly where it will land. Joining us now is Michio Kaku, theoretical physicist at the City University of New York and the author of a new book called The God Equation, The Quest for a Theory of Everything, a New York Times bestseller. Professor, it's great to see you. I mean, how worried should we be, this 20-ton chunk of rocket? Well, like a bat out of hell, this 20-ton rocket, of uh, the Chinese Long March 5B rocket, is tumbling out of control, and it could hit anywhere as far north as New York City or as far south as New Zealand. That narrows it down. 
Yeah, and it's a huge part of the Earth's surface. Now, chances are it's going to land harmlessly in the ocean, but there's a finite chance that it could even land right here at CNN headquarters, right on top of our head. Uh, we simply don't know where it's going to land. The, the, people have a hard time, I think, understanding that. Almost no chance at all, but it is a non-zero Non-zero, and it's traveling at 18,000 miles per hour, like a flaming meteor from outer space is going to light up the sky. Um, it just, I, I don't want to leave people scared here. People should be changing their weekend plans, correct? More than likely, the overwhelming probability is it'll land in the oceans. Remember that every year, about 150 tons of debris, man-made debris, come raining down on the planet Earth, burn up as meteors, and land in the oceans. But you can't rule it out. One day, it's going to land on someone's backyard. Brianna, I mean... You gotta That's get out of pretty this. scary. There's got to yeah. be like a better way to deal with this. Uh, and I wonder if at some point, you know, maybe we are going to need Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck to save the day. What do you say to that? We'll put that there. Oh, one day will we meet our heroes uh, from Hollywood? Uh, just remember, they are Hollywood heroes <laughs> and uh, they don't know anything about the laws of physics. And the laws of physics tell us that sooner or later it's going to land in someone's backyard. Thank goodness you know the laws of physics. And thank goodness we have scientists looking out for us and watching over this again. It will land sometime this weekend. It's moving so fast. It's just impossible to tell where. New York, New Zealand, anywhere in between. Professor, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks so much. There are thousands of pieces of uh, space junk currently just spinning around the Earth. Space junk is just what's left over from uh, past missions of satellite launches and rocket launches. The main problem is some of them pot potentially impacting each other and affecting satellites and affecting communication and affecting possibly some of the things we use every day down here. It's been since 1958 when the Russians first launched Sputnik. Since then, there have been thousands of launches of rockets and satellites, and a lot of that stuff is still up there this uh, rocket that the Chinese launched about April 29th. It was carrying a, a payload of a uh, piece of their space station. They're, they're, they're creating the first Chinese space station where astronauts will be able to live. This rocket that they launched, uh, unfortunately it got into orbit and that's not supposed to happen. And this piece of uh, space debris that's coming down, it's uh, probably about 100 feet in length. And although a lot of it might burn up in the atmosphere, there is a chance that some of it could land uh, in an inhabited area. Fortunately, the Earth is about 70% ocean, so the odds are that this particular piece of space junk will land in, a, in an uninhabited part of the world. It's expected to hit sometime on Saturday, May 8th, somewhere around the world, and we're not quite sure where yet. Apparently, they've scheduled at least 10 or so more launches to get this uh, space station in operation up there. And so we need to be concerned about it, just that they're doing the due diligence to make sure this type of thing doesn't happen again. The uh, U.S. Department of Defense this week did announce that uh, they have no plans to shoot down this particular rocket, and they're just going to go ahead and monitor it as best as possible. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.